Hello, welcome to another video of Codes in the Pet. Now this video is going to be a very quick video. In this video, I am going to walk you through how you can set up IntelliJ inside your local environment. This is basically a first step of your journey to become a Java developer. Now if you remember in the last video, we have seen this particular roadmap. And in this roadmap, the first step over here is installing a IDE or making use of a IDE. You cannot go ahead and write your code inside a text file and run it, right? You need a IDE support in order to make your development faster, right? So here in this video, I am going to install IntelliJ and we are going to write your first Java code. So I personally use IntelliJ because I feel it is a better IDE. If you want to use any other IDE, feel free to do so. So let's see how we can download and install IntelliJ, right? So you need to just go to Google and type IntelliJ Community Edition Download. So it will lead you to jetbrains.com, which is official site. Now here you will see the options to download, right? So if you are using Windows, just go ahead and download exe file from here. If you use Mac OS, just download file from here. Or if in case you are using Linux, then go ahead and download the star file from here, right? Now I'm using Mac OS, so I will download this one. So the download will be started, right? So it's a good 1.4 GB file, right? So let it download, right? So file download is completed. So you can just click on this and something like this will be open. Just drag this IntelliJ into your application and it will be installed, right? So currently it is already installed in my local. If you are using Windows, just execute your exe file and you will be done, right? Now the IntelliJ that we have downloaded is basically the ultimate edition. Ultimate edition, that means it is paid, okay? That means you will need a license in order to use it. Now that does not mean that you will have to pay to use IntelliJ, right? You can just scroll down over here and you will find IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, right? Which is totally free. So instead of downloading Ultimate Edition, you can go ahead and download Community Edition and install it in the same way, right? Now once it is installed, you can just open it. So once you open it, something like this window will be opened, right? And now here you can create a new project, right? So once you click on this, a window like this will be opened, right? So here you can choose between what kind of project you want to create, right? You can create Java, Kotlin, Groovy, or even Spring project you can create from here, right? So for now, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Java project, right? What I will do, I will just give a quick name to it. Let's say Java demo, and it is a simple IntelliJ project. And here, if you see, it is giving you an option to choose JDK. So here by default, you will have some kind of JDK. So you don't even need to go ahead and install JDK separately, right? You don't need to do all that, right? You don't need to set environment variables and everything. Everything will be ready made over here. You can just create a project and directly go ahead and execute it, right? So once you hit create, a window like this will be opened, right? So if you see over here in this project, you will have a main file created for you already, right? You will have this main file in SRC folder, right? Nothing else because this is a simple Java project. That's why. We don't have much over here. We just have this hello world program, right? So here you will have a main class, right? So this is basically main class and this is a main method inside main class, right? So this is basically class and this is method, right? So the entry point of Java is basically main method. That's why they have given this, right? And we are just adding a simple print statement over here, which is printing hello world on the console. Now, how to run this code? You will see this particular arrow run arrow over here. You can just click on it and click on run, right? Once you do that, it will start running your application and you will see that hello world is printed on the console. Now, if you update this statement and run it again, then this statement will be updated over here on this particular console, right? So this is very simple stuff. No more Java C file name dot Java, right? You can directly go ahead and execute it like this. No more wasting time. Creating a project is very, very easy as we have seen. And here you will get ample amount of features as well. For example, you will get a debugger as well. So you can add debug point and debug your application, right? Once you do that, you will be able to debug very easily. You will get a lot of debug options over here. So if you want to understand debugging in more details, I have already created another video on that in the Spring Boot playlist. So you can go ahead and check that. So these details I'm giving you over here is for complete beginners. If, if you know Java already, then you must check out Spring Boot playlist that I've created on same channel. Now, when it comes to creating a big application or microservices by using Spring Boot, then this particular IDE will come in handy. 
right it will make our life very easy that's why i am starting with this particular video and letting you know that this particular id is full of lot of features and will make our life very easy going forward right we are going to see some awesome stuff going forward in this particular playlist if you haven't subscribed to code snippet yet go ahead and hit that red button and subscribe to code snippet right now if you like the video hit the like button share this video with your friends who are learning java so that they are also aware of this particular fantastic id over here that's it for this video. See you in the next video.